in time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. I looked up that word tarry, and that word means linger, and linger is the way, so I'm just going to read it, putting those words in place. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it lingers, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not delay. Amen? And as I was reading and studying this chapter of Habakkuk, um, at first when I was reading it, I was kind of like, okay, why is he questioning God, you know, asking him why, you know, because Habakkuk is crying to God, saying, you know, he doesn't understand why, why his chosen people was going through suffering, Daddy, man. But as I kept reading it and studying it more, it wasn't that he was questioning God, he was crying out to his father with respect, amen. Yeah. And if we say that God's our father, just like you go to your parents when you need something, Hello. we should be able to go to our father. And that's what he was doing, he was crying out to God for understanding, for his wisdom to make him understand and God speaks to him and his faith is restored and he realizes that it's at God appointed time that everything's going to be okay. All right, amen. Our topic tonight is God's divine appointment, God's time, amen. All right. God's time. God's time. Amen. And, you know, just reading that verse when it says, you know, the vision is at an appointed time. Though it may linger, it's not going to delay, amen. And that's just like God's time. God's divine appointment. Because every time you come to church, someone always comes up here, either in a testimony or when they share the word, and they always say that it's not by accident that we're here tonight, amen? All right. God's divine appointment, amen? Uh, and I believe that everything that we do is all part of God's divine timing. He puts us in the places that we need to be all right. to get that, you know, get that food that we need. Like tonight, you know, encouraging you, he put us here to re be reminded of his timing and that it won't be delayed, amen? Right, amen. And, you know, as I was reading, you know, I was starting to think, like, you know, why shouldn't, why shouldn't, I should be more like Hope, like, you know, crying to him, asking him for understanding, asking him for that peace that we heard not too long ago. And sometimes we don't understand when we see our, you know, the devil or the enemy, you know, they're prospering and we're just getting by paycheck to paycheck. Hello. But in Psalms 46 10, it says, Be still and know that I'm God. And yes. That's what we need to do. We just need Man. to be still and know that God's working in that for our good. You know? And, you know, when we be still, we listen to, and we, you know, wait for that still, small voice. Trust me, it will come, amen. And I was Jesus. about the story of Abraham and Sarah. When God had went to Abraham and Sarah, he told them, Now I'm going to bless you with a child. Because at that time, Sarah was barren. And so Sarah, you know, got a bright idea. She took, gave her maid, Hagar, to Abraham and said, You know what? I think this is what God wanted us to do. She's supposed to, you're supposed to, you know, take her and she's going to conceive the baby that, you know, we're supposed to get blessed with. So Abraham ends up taking Hagar as his, I think it's his second wife, and they, she ends up having a baby. His name is Ishmael. Well, Ishmael, he was still blessed. God still blessed Ishmael. But it says in the Bible that he was a wild man. Like every man that he met, he was against. And every man that met him, they were against him. And God had, you know, talk, spoke to Abraham. And if you listen, if you read the beginning, when God said, I'm going to bless you and Sarah with the baby, he didn't say, I'm going to bless you and Sarah with the baby from somebody else. He said, I'm going to bless you and Sarah with the baby. All and right, come on. And what happened? She, she was almost 100, and she ended up getting pregnant with Isaac. And that's who God had, you know, that's who God wants to bless. Amen. Yes, amen. And that's what I mean by God's time. You know, I take Ishmael as when we're doing things on our strength. Every time we start doing things on our strength because we're going through some problems. Hello, or somebody. We're going through something. We end up with Ishmael and we're supposed to wait for Isaac. Right? Come on. Woo. That's how I see it as when God says, you know, within time, wait. Sometimes you just gotta be still and know, remember that God is God, amen. Amen. And even the story, you know, of David and life, we heard it before. God had just put, you know, made that time and just to said David to go check on his brothers. David gets there and he sees this big old guy yelling and he's like, what are you guys doing? Why don't you guys defeat him already? But that's how marvelous and awesome God is. God took this young guy and he was probably like maybe 12 or even younger than that and defeated 
Goliath that was like five times his size. It is to show us that in God's timing, if we have faith and put our trust in him, that it's all going to work out for our good. Amen? All right. Amen. And I don't believe that, you know, nothing is by accident. Even all of us that are, you know, that are married, I think that God puts that certain person in your life for a reason, amen? All right. I believe if I was with my husband, who knows what we would be doing with another person, amen? Amen. We would have been, we would have ended up with Ishmael instead of, you know, being with Isaac together, amen? Hello, hello. And, you know, I just give God the glory and, you know, in that, in the last verse of Habakkuk, it says, Verse 19, it says, The Lord God is my strength, and he will make my feet like hind's feet, and he will make me to walk upon my high places to chief singers of my strange in instruments. That part where it says that he will make 